Hello everybody, my name is Charles. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use your Sony camera as a webcam with no capture card. What you're going to need, of course, is your, your camera. This is a A6600 and you're going to need the cable that came with your camera. First thing we're going to do is set the camera to PC remote. So I'm using the A6600 and I'm in the setup or menu and on USB connection. I've had mine on auto, but there's where you get into your USB connection and come down to PC remote. That's all you need to do as far as setting up your camera. So now let's install some software. We're going to get on the Sony website and install the Imaging Edge webcam software. I'll put a link in the description to the site. So Imaging Edge webcam it's just recently come out for Mac OS. It was out for Windows 10. So this is a recent software for Mac OS. Come down here, you can select your camera models. I have a 6300 and a 6600. So now both download buttons are highlighted, one for Mac and one for Windows. I'm going to download the software. And when that gets downloaded, we'll install it. And we're getting the install going here. And we'll follow all the, the defaults here and just let it install. And it says after it's installed, going to have to uh, restart. So we'll continue the installation and then allow the computer to restart. Hey, if you're getting value out of this so far, hit that like button. So now that our software is installed, all we need to do is plug our cable from the camera into our computer. And so let's set this up in OBS. So I'm in OBS here. I'm on my only scene in here. I'm going to click the plus and add a video capture device. I'll just call this video capture device two. I'll say, okay. And now I see that down here is Sony imaging edge. Select that. Here is my camera pointing at my computer with my screensaver. So as far as quality, it's pretty good quality. It's going to be good for streaming. It's probably about 720 resolution. The frame rate probably isn't as going to be as good as what comes out of a, a camera, but it's still pretty good. So unless you need 4K and you need the frame rate to be 24 or 30, well then that's where you would get a capture card. This is pretty good without a capture card. If you haven't already, subscribe and like this video. And remember, it's never too late to learn. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.